Hey guys, let's see what we are going to solve in this video. I'll just read the problem for you. A farmer had some chickens and ducks. He sold three quarters of the ducks and bought another 115 chickens. As a result, the number of chickens became 2.5 times that of the ducks. If there were 195 chickens after that, how many times as many ducks as chickens did he have at first? Right? Right. Okay. So let's solve this problem. So there are chickens and ducks or ducks and chickens. Right? Okay. So let's write the ducks on one side and chicken on the other side. Right? I will just use model method to make you understand but you can use even units method after you understood the problem right so duck is we will use duck unit for chicken we will use for chicken we will use chicken units right okay so now as per the problem right as per the problem it says that initially right initially there were some ducks some ducks and some chickens we don't know that's what we are going to find let's take that as one duck unit one duck unit and here we will take it as one chicken unit right one chicken unit okay so now there was a change right change what change has happened is from one duck unit this unit he sold three-fourth of it, duck unit. He sold three-fourth of the duck unit, which is subtraction, right? So what it means is that from this duck unit, right, he split that into four and then he sold off, which one? These three units. These three units he sold off, right? And on the chicken side, he bought additional 115 chickens plus this one is already there and then he bought additional 115 that's not units that's the actual number of chickens right that's why we cannot use chicken unit here so this one is still one chicken unit right okay now after that right after the change right after the change after the change what happened was he was left with one unit of duck one unit of duck the ratio is given whatever is left right the duck is one unit and the chicken was 2.5 units of the ducks right we still don't know what is the size of one unit guys so we are just writing down what is given in the problem it says that 2.5 times that of the duck so duck was one unit then chicken would be how many units right three or uh, two point five units which what it means is that if you split this one one two then it is somewhere here right two point five units so this one is one unit the ratio is given as one unit right this is not same as this duck unit right so if from the one duck unit three fourth was sold off Three fourth was sold off. What will be the remaining here from the one duck unit? It is one fourth. One fourth duck unit, right? One fourth of the duck unit is what remaining here. Got it, right? So that is what this one unit is, right? That's what is given. This is what is remaining on the duck side. But that is equivalent to the remaining chicken right the, the proportion the ratio between the chicken and duck or the duck to chicken is 1 is to 2.5 units right so that's why this one is 1 unit this one is 2.5 units so now it is also given that right if there were 195 chickens after that what it means is that the end 2.5 is equals to 195 chickens total chickens got it so this is what is given in the problem now let's find out what is one unit here because see after the units after the change the unit size on the left side and the right side are same just that here it is two unit two full units and one half unit 
here it is one full unit right but we know the end number right the end value after the change it is 195 right so from here right we can find what is the size of one after unit after the change unit right so let's find that so 2.5 unit is equals to 195 so what will be one unit in that case what do you need to do yes very good 195 divided by 2.5 see here in the denominator we have decimal points here right so what we need to do is we need to make this as a whole number to become a whole number what can we do we can multiply by 10 right so the decimal point goes to the right side so it becomes 25 so if we multiply at the denominator we have to multiply at the numerator as well so that the value of the whole fraction doesn't change so let's multiply on the on the on the numerator using 10 and the denominator using 10 this becomes 1950 and then at the denominator it becomes 25 right so now let's do the normal cancellation using a common common number that can divide both of them so let's start with 5 so 5 times 5 is 25 and at the numerator 3 times 5 is uh, 15 and then you have 4 45 9 times 4 5 is 45 and then we will put the 0 here now we still have 5 so we can cancel it for 5 again 1 times 5 is 5 here 7 times 5 is 35 the 4 4 is the reminder then 40 8 times uh, 5 is 40 so 1 unit is equals to 78 right 78 so this one unit is also equals to how much 78 right 78 but this one unit is what one fourth of the original duck unit right the original duck unit we are going to find how many times as many ducks as chickens did he have at first right for that we need to find the number of ducks first and the number of chickens as well right so we know that one fourth of the duck unit yeah is equals to how much 78 so one fourth of duck unit is equals to 78 that's what we have found here right now what will become one duck unit that's what here at the beginning one duck unit is equals to how much we need to what do we need to do yes very good we need to multiply using the four so four times eight is 32 three four times uh, seven is 28 plus three is 31 so 312 so this one is 312 ducks right but for chicken see for chicken we already know that see all these calculations we did because we wanted to find what is one duck unit after unit right but otherwise only for chicken we could it is very straightforward you see here after adding 115 we got 195 right so what will be the original number in that case right see here one chicken unit plus 115 is equals to 195 so in that case one chicken unit is how much 195 minus 115 which is equals to 80 right 80 so this one is 80 chickens but what we need to find is the times right how many how many times the ducks unit is bigger compared to the chicken unit for which we need to do i mean for for that what we need to do very good okay so we need to divide okay so let's write that duck divided by chicken duck unit divided by chicken unit right and then for that it is 312 312 divided by 80 which is so let's simplify using start with maybe four yeah you can start with four i think so 220 20 times 4 is 80 and here 7 times 4 is 28 and then 3 32 8 78 times uh no eight times uh, 4 is 32 now we can still go for maybe two which is 10 and here 
3 times 2 is 6, 1 18, 9 times 2 is 18, right? So, 3, uh, 39 divided by 10. So, to divide by 10, what we can do? We can just put one decimal point, 3.9. So, duck is, duck is 3.9 times bigger, bigger than, than chicken chicken so that is the answer so answer is 3.9 times yeah easy guys so you just need to split both of them into both the side the only thing is that you need to also pay attention to this change in addition to this change right then it you will know when you find this number what it represents got it right or you can say that this one is one unit actually. So here it is supposed to be four units and you can just multiply 78 using the four to get this number as well. Right? So that's another easy way as well. So there are different ways to do it. Uh, but if you're following this method, only this thing you need to pay attention to it. That's all. Otherwise, you find one unit, you know that this one is equal to four units because that's where, you know, when we when we, when we calculated, when we you know, uh, went through these steps, you, we, we arrived at one unit using all these. So, you know already this one is actually four units. You can just automatically multiply. Got it, right? So, the trick is that you need to find the duck unit. That's all. And then everything else will, you know, fall in place. Right? Got it? Easy, guys? Yeah? Okay, cool. So, if you have any questions or doubts, please leave your comments in the comment box and I will address it in the next video. I will pay special attention when it comes to this kind of area so that you can you can make yourself comfortable with it. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel.